Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahusha, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching in truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled, Did Alexander the Great Prophesy Yahawasha and the Nation of Israel? According to the source, az.com, Alexander stated, I am not afraid of any army of lions led by a sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. Lord will, you are edified. Let's utilize a spiritual perspective. Jeremiah 50 and 17. Israel is a scattered sheep. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Assyria have devoured him. And last, this Nebuchad Reza, king of Babylon, have broken his bones. Also, keep this in mind. Jeremiah 15 and 17, Israel is a scattered sheep. Micah 2 and 12, I will surely assemble, O Jacob, all of thee. I will surely gather the remnant of Israel. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra. Keep this in mind. As the flock in the midst of their fold, they shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. Matthew 10 and 5, these 12, Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter y'all not. Verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 10 and 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of of the house of Israel. Sheep, according to biblical doctrine, and most importantly, if the Spirit is dealing with you, refers to the nation of Israel. And Alexander the Great stated, I am not afraid of any army of lions led by sheep. I am afraid of an army of sheep led by a lion. All right, let's focus on the latter, led by a lion. Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord Yahweh sprang out of Judah, of which, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. 
Yahweh Shai is from the tribe of Judah. You so-called African Americans or Negroes. Genesis 49 and verse 9. Judah is a lion's whelp. And according to the blue letter, a lion's whelp is considered as a cub or a young lion. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down. He couched as a lion. And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up? Judah is a lion's whelp. Who is the biggest lion of them all? Yahweh Shai. Because he's considered as the captain of our salvation. All right. He's the head lion Revelation 5 and 5 and one of the elders said unto me weep not behold the lion of the tribe of Judah Hence, Yahweh Shai, the roots of David have prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. Jeremiah 4 and 7. The lion is come up from his thicket, lion, hence Yahweh Shai. And the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and thy cities shall be laid waste without an, it's like it, without an inhabitant. When we utilize a spiritual perspective led by a lion, referring to Yahweh Shai, leading an army of sheep. Okay, now remember, around 2,000 years ago, Yahweh Shai was considered that lion, Slakia, Slakia, Yahweh Shai was considered that lamb but when he comes back hence the second coming of Yahweh Shai he's coming back as that lion and he's going to lead an army of lions okay and like I said before according to Alexander I am not afraid of an army of lions led by sheep I am afraid of an army of sheep. Hence, the nation of Israel, led by a lion. Hence, Yahweh Shai. Lord, will you edify Shalom?